Basketball has always been one of the few things that I could get inside those four lines and nothing else mattered in the world. The first time that I got crossed over and scored on by a guy that I perceived to have less ability than me or have it harder in life, my whole world changed. And I just remember telling myself, don't close the eyes, because if I close my eyes, I'm going to die. I never thought before that I was going to be a, you know, a wheelchair all my life. Once you have with someone in a wheelchair to be in a relationship with, you'll never go back. <laughs> the team has become my brothers. Play like men, we're gonna go home. Nationals, we're, we're going all the way in. At any given moment, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be without a roof, you know? So it's like, I gotta just, at the same time, not let that affect my training. I see those guys that they've been playing for years and they've been to college. If they did it, why can't I do it? Jeremy is a menstrual music. My daily life is like studio singing, basketball, as basically as consistent. The only positive thing I do, I do it for basketball. This is my escape. This is what's most likely to get me an education. If I gotta push 20 miles a day, wake up at 7 in the morning to be there by 5 in the afternoon, I'm gonna do it. I don't think I would have this opportunity if it wasn't for the sport. I got this scholarship for UTA. Ooh. What we do is beyond basketball. It's beyond wheelchair sports, it's life and how we choose to live it.